The lymphatic system is one of two major circulatory systems in your body. Its primary job is to move immune cells and dead cellular debris through the body where they can be removed. A poorly functioning lymphatic system is a risk factor for developing cancer and other chronic diseases. Now, while most of modern science and the allopathic medical community have spent their time researching the blood vascular system, the lymphatic system is actually gaining its deserved attention from the holistic community. Today, much of the 21st century research is diving deeper into understanding the lymphatic system function and its dynamic role with the health of the human body. So first of all, what is the lymphatic system? What little you may have heard about the lymphatic system is that it is comparable to drains. When there's a clog in any of the pipes at your home, you may experience an odor from the sink basin. That's where a buildup of particles such as hair and food become a breeding ground for bacteria. You regularly maintain your pipes in order to avoid a clog, but you should also be paying far greater attention to your lymphatic system and doing the same thing. A congested lymphatic system can lead to serious illnesses and chronic diseases, which stem from a weakened immune system. A clog in your lymphatic drains can lead to the accumulation of toxins, which the body initially tries to remove. Let's go over some detoxification strategies that will help your lymphatic system. Number one, actively reduce stress. You should practice good posture, stretching regularly, deep breathing exercises, and yoga or Pilates. These are all excellent strategies to relieve anxiety and support the immune function, and they also relieve congestion and stimulate the removal of pathogens from your body via the lymphatic system. Number two, exercise. This is probably the most effective and easiest way to improve your lymphatic system function. Exercising increases oxygen in the tissues and it stimulates your blood circulation. And when the body doesn't move, the toxins stay in the muscle. A condition known as hypoxia in which there is a lack of oxygen to an area of the body leaves the door open for the invasion and metastasis or the spread of cancer. One of the best exercises you can do for your lymphatic system is bouncing on a mini trampoline, also called a rebounder. This is used oftentimes in sports therapy to help athletes heal from injuries, but it's also a very low-impact exercise that can help you to stimulate your lymphatic flow. Number three, chiropractic care. The obstruction of any anatomical structure on the thoracic cavity or upper chest region can prevent the dumping of toxins from the lymphatic system and can stop your body from cleansing. Number four, herbs. This is a great source that we can use to detox the lymphatic system. Some of the most popular herbal treatments to help the lymph system heal are as follows. Essential oils. Traditional practices have used essential oils to help the body heal for centuries. The use of essential oil strengthens the cancer patient's immune system, or someone that doesn't have cancer strengthens their immune system too by relieving anxiety and stress and improving your emotional response. Milk thistle is also a strong detoxification agent that's known to cleanse the gastrointestinal tract, the liver, and the kidneys and promote a healthy thyroid. You can use milk thistle to help fight inflammation in your body and support a healthy immune system. Essiac tea. This herbal treatment may be recommended to patients that are newly diagnosed with cancer. My grandmother, Helen, she used Essiac tea for years and it detoxifies the lymphatic system, it heals the immune system, and it also purifies the blood. Number five, another important thing to do to detox the lymphatic system is to perspire. Sweating is one of the mechanisms by which the human body eliminates toxins. And many people nowadays don't even sweat. They don't exercise. It is so essential. Infrared saunas are great for this. I sit in an infrared sauna every day to sweat. Also, go outside when it's sunny and exercise. Walk around, sweat a little bit. It's very good for your detoxification system and your lymphatic system. Number six, dry brushing. This aids the removal of toxins that have built up on your skin. Dry brushing involves using a coarse brush to gently be moved along the skin in the direction of the heart. This boosts the lymph flow by stimulating the sweat glands and supports circulation below the skin. Dry brushing is a very effective way to detox the lymphatic system. Number seven, eat an anti-inflammatory diet. Consuming a healthy diet that's rich in antioxidants and full of healthy fats is critical to support a healthy immune system, especially as we get older. Pathogenic agents cannot thrive in alkaline environments, which makes eating fresh fruits and vegetables and healthy cell-supporting fats absolutely necessary. Here's some examples of foods you should be eating regularly. Cranberries, raspberries, cherries, vegetables, especially beets, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower. Lymphatic vessels exist at the site of the intestines and are easily susceptible to destruction from unhealthy diets. Number eight, hydrate. 
The lymphatic system is mostly water, so you've got to drink clean, purified water. You've got to hydrate properly. Number nine, massage therapy. This improves the immune function and can also relieve symptoms of chronic fatigue and pain. And then last but not least, number 10, you should avoid tight-fitting garments, especially underwire bras. This restricts the lymphatic flow, and there have been studies that have shown that women that wear underwire bras that are tight-fitting have over 100 times more likely, they're over 100 times more likely to get cancer than women that don't wear tight underwire bras. So you have to allow the lymphatic system to flow and to detoxify. In conclusion, it's critical for individuals that have cancer to have a healthy immune system and a healthy lymphatic system and to detoxify regularly. So I end this video with one question. Will you personally incorporate these detox strategies into your daily lifestyle to improve your lymphatic system today? Well, hope you've learned a lot from this video. We'll see you next time. God bless.